Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Pater Noster, qui es in Celis, Sanctificetur Nomen Tuum, Adveniat Regnum Tuum, Fiat Voluntas Tua, Sicut in Cielo et in Terra, Panem Nostrum Quotidianum da Nobis Odie, et dimite Nobis Levita Nostra, Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amados. Amen. All right. Well, welcome. Uh, this is, what, the fifth meeting I think we've had for this so far? Fourth, yeah. So um, we're going to talk first about, about um, the get down to business for the actual Mass. We were going to discuss different um, ministries, that we're going to have on uh, December 16th. Um, so I'm guessing uh, we can talk to some of the kids about serving. I don't know how many of them would be spoiled enough in Latin to kind of follow <laughs> along, but I don't think they necessarily need to know. I mean, the mass is going to be the mass regardless. They know the structure and how it all works. Yeah. So I'll, I'll try to. The ones that do the responses. Well, right. Themselves. And I'll, I think that's going to be more of a special thing. I might ask certain servers to do that. I'd like to have. Four. We have incense along with the cross and candles. So I'll, I'll maybe uh, track that down with kids. I think I can find at least four that would be good candidates. Um, Take it serious. Yeah. <laughs> I would also, I mean, we also were starting a master of ceremonies uh, program now with some okay. high school kids. So maybe okay. we have one of those guys help out with that too. Um, so while I'll cover the servers, I guess the question that we'd have to have is we have to probably at least one lector for the reading. Um, Mary Beth is she went to go visit her, her dad today, so she's not here. But we can we can defer that to next month for the actual campers and stuff. Um, external ministers, I don't know um, how if uh, I could probably guess that Monsieur Simon will not come celebrate. I don't know if Monsieur Shamlocker is planning to do that or not. I can talk to them about that, see what they want to do. If that's if they all can celebrate and we have the deacon, we wouldn't need any terrarian ministries. If not, um, we probably want to plan to have at least two to three just in case. So um, what do we think about that? Well, that's how many people there are. Well, that's your thing too. Nobody here is in that ministry, right? No. So for any of ministry. So um, is there any candidate so that you may think would be best suited for these? I don't know. We're not sure who would be coming or the people you know I saw here. I know there's no well it, it wouldn't I mean and, and here's the thing too. too. This, this, this is a this isn't necessarily a parish mass. It's not like on a regular schedule, but we can definitely pull from the the ministry schedule that we have. So, like for instance, I mean, so just out of um, I do have access to the um, uh, yeah, I have access to the actual uh, uh, server. Um, the scheduler, which is um, let me show them where. I mean, you there probably just send a message out and say if anybody would be interested in it. I could. Um, what about the, for for extraordinary uh, for ministers of communion? What about the deacon? Isn't he going to be participating? You see, and that's the thing. I think the anticipation he is. Um, but I, there has just been like officially said yes or no. I see. So I've, I've, I've let him know that he is more than welcome to participate. Um, and I, he hasn't really given me a definite, yeah, I'll be there. So um, so just thought, I mean, so just so you can see, this is the scheduler pro. We actually have the ministers. I think all the ministers are listed here. So the current, uh list here has she needs to get some loading um so we have the servers on the right here that we have uh cynthia kluzak marilyn wrangle uh, marilyn might be there i don't know yeah don or um 
Sean Kostowski. Then we have some electors. Paul Webb. I think he's, I don't, is he on this committee? I don't know if he's part of that or not. He's calm yet. He doesn't like the interest. Right. Um, Jane Beato would probably be good. She's done that before. Um, Lynn Munch. Also, she's also a good candidate. I think she would be right. Um, <clears throat> so I, here's, I mean, I can definitely send out an email to people to see who might be interested in it, or at least have um, uh, Eileen do that. Um, I just didn't know if there's any preference that we have as far as that's concerned from this committee. Or do you think we need any other, any other ministers? I mean, I know I've been talking to Marilyn about having a um candles but she's not really on this committee right so it's not necessarily like something she's responsible for so even like something like a sacristan should we have someone to kind of set up with the candles and all that kind of thing hmm. i suppose there's gonna be a lot of candles very well maybe <laughs> um and the ones I've seen in the past, it's been kind of altars well illuminated. Um, you could even have like votive candles for people, like we do like Easter Vigil. Um, but I've even seen we actually have candles out, like candle stand and kind of lovers out in the nave. Um, that might be extreme. I don't think we have enough candle lovers and stuff like that here anyway to do that. So votive candles might be the best option for us. Except they're really hard to. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Yes. We, have, we have to kind of deal with what we got. Yeah. Right. So, we'll do what we can. Right. Uh, and maybe, you know, if this, if this grows, which we're hoping it does, we could maybe even anticipate different things in the future. Right. But right now, I think we're going to anticipate a lot, like as many kind of laws we have in the sanctuary um, to illuminate as much as we can. And then even more, probably more uh, illumination on the altar and at the anvil. An individual, um, uh, you know, vote of candles. Now, again, we're going to need people to help set that up, right? So, uh, I'll definitely do that. Okay, yeah, great, good. Okay, good. Putting out candles, I think I can. Do yeah. That. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, part of that's also the decoration. We want to. Yeah. We have any other? I mean, in the in the pitch black, it really. I don't think it matters. Yeah. 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 So uh, maybe that's not going to be a big concern. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, definitely put those out. Um, Sacristan help would be good. I mean, I could talk to Marilyn about it, but you know, she's not. I would imagine if she she usually signs up for stuff she's interested in. In fact, she hasn't signed for this committee and is really engaged. I would imagine. Well, the trouble is, the trouble is where the candle. Yeah. 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 You yes. have to know where stuff right. is yeah. ahead of time, where you're going to use the Sacristan. Right. I mean, um, no matter what has to be. And really, really, all the candles we have are actually either they're in the server sacristy. So they're either in the, uh, there's a cabinet right next to where the albs are for the servers, or they're in the, the room where we have the dealers and chairs. Um, and that's really all we have, right? So that's the place we keep the candles. And if we're not in there, we don't have any. And right now, I mean, so going through that, there's not a lot we have. But I think part of that too is we don't necessarily buy candle, we basically buy candles and we need them. We don't necessarily get them throughout the, for the entire year. Yeah. Uh, which is also kind of uh, when we have like you know the the camel mass, right? You're supposed to have actually bless all the candles you have to the entire that mass. Well, we we don't because you know we kind of buy them as we need them. So um, which is you know that's more of a saving thing, right? So it's under camera. Um, but I did talk to Marilyn about getting candles so we can have enough for. I think right now we probably have if we have the ones we have up there right now probably should be enough. But. Uh, that we're going to go through those throughout the year as far as you know between now and december you know, well, so i mean you don't use that many actual candles that's true i mean the wax only we really is the two on the altar just on the altar yeah. right that's about it um so yeah we probably go through maybe two a month if that's the case but, yeah i mean maybe two every three weeks we kind of change those out and then of course we have the candles for the uh for the uh sanctuary there. the other candles are uh oil Next to the uh, ambo, so again, not a big deal. But uh, we can talk to her about those things. You mentioned decorations. Do you want flowers or something? Like well, I, I think, yeah. I mean, th that would be kind of moot, I think, because if it's a pitch black, it's. Okay. Got, I mean, other than like you know, <laughs> early, early in December, I don't think you have too much left. Uh, <laughs> 
I mean, being admin to the, 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 the sanctuary should be uh, modestly yeah. decorated anyway. So probably we're going to have just the admin rate, of course. And that's probably about it. Um, yeah, because I mean, we, I mean, we don't even look at decorating for Christmas until, you know, the fourth yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I think we can probably make do with just that. Um, but more, more so, I think time was more focused on like, or do th does that open this or do we think we need anything else other than those? Um, do, I mean, we talked about, do we want to have an offertory? I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. I'm Yeah. Uh, in the dark. <laughs> well, you got candles. Yeah. Well, if you got yeah. candle bears to, to um, escort so, you yeah. to it. Which we could do that with the servers. You know, we could take the candles from the Ambo and have them process up and back and that kind of thing if we want to do that. I'd have to train them on that and teach them. We don't usually do that, but that's going to be a problem. I know, but I think if you're going to do it in the dark, it might be. Yeah, well, true. And it would make it a little <laughs> yeah, more yeah, formal. Yeah, yeah. And it would be more formal yeah, fair, in a way. Fair, fair, right. And it would help light the way. Yeah. Any yeah. other thoughts? Mm -hmm. Or is there anybody who want to volunteer to any of these? I mean, other than we have, you know, Mary Beth have for the candles and then, you know, Anna if we want to do that too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sort of behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah. All good. All good. We, we, I know we kind of volunteered Grant at the last meeting when you were like, oh, but well, speaking of Grant. Grant's coming to see we saw the notice late. Oh, it's all good, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I guess I didn't know not my first time with my, with my tremors. And my, sure. sure. Where were you? And I, my tremor is accentuated when I'm not supposed to. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> uh, we were talking about like, like, just trying to glass of water. So we're kind of anticipating. I want to have at least maybe four servers, and I'll talk to the servers. I'll put the I'll put the feelings out for that. Um, we can participate in that. Um, but then we're talking about we need at least maybe one lector. Um, we're probably we're extraordinary ministers. I don't. I know Monsignor Simon won't celebrate. But Monsieur Shemel for May, we should we may we should have a deacon, but I'm not that's not really confirmed yet. So we're trying to think maybe we have about two or three extraordinary ministers lined up for that too. So we're just seeing who wants to do what or we need more ministers. Um are you planning to have the cup also? Or just well, see now that's interesting. Today, um, we got a letter from the archdiocese to, that said today would be the first day we could start. But the archbishop has left it up as usual, which is right, to the individual pastors to, to discern within their communities that it's right. Now, we, we at our staff meeting, we decided we're going to just forego it for now, mm -hmm. right? Um, numbers have enough, but also to, we don't have the ministers. Yeah. Right now, we just don't have enough ministers to handle the chalices. Mm -hmm. And so my, my, my approach to the chalices, um, even though People can receive from the chalice. I don't. I think we're going to get away from the thought that it's a right to receive from the chalice, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's a privilege to receive from the chalice, right. and that privilege is open to anyone eligible. But I know, growing up in my parish, uh, and I thought this was actually a, a good pastoral approach, was we didn't have the chalice except for special occasions, yeah. right? We had it for like Corpus Christi, and for, I mean, we're not going to yeah. Corpus Christi, you know. Yeah, but right, um, right. we had it for like you know uh, Easter and Christmas and First Communions well, and confirmations. I, I think that most people come to Latin Mass probably. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and typically, in extraordinary form, you would not have chalice, right? So people yeah. receive this form. But but this, again, we feel this is yeah. not an extraordinary. Not form. extraordinary. Form. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Just, it's the sort of mentality of people yes. who, yes. who yeah. are yeah. attracted to the sort of thing. But I think that that the issue there would be I don't know if we're gonna have enough ministers anyway. To, yeah. to distribute the chalice right. regardless. Okay. So I think we're, we're looking at just uh, the four usual stations for the body. Okay. Um, and so if we need probably at least one person to do that, okay. if not 30. So we're gonna have to anticipate that. And, so. right. okay. and I'll, I'll, I'll solidify with the deacon and with Monsignor to see if they're going to be there to help. Um, but if not, um, we're going to probably have at least backups for that. Well, like you said, you don't have as many ministers anymore. And they thought if we, if things start opening up more, of having like another, like a round of saying if anybody's interested and have a Yeah, I mean, that's a good point, Mary. I, I mean, have done it in the past, yeah. but it's been a long time. 
but I probably yeah. can't, I could probably by December maybe we just might grow. I, but the other thing too is I don't know when we're planning to bring Chelsea back too. Yeah. I mean, it's fun. actually, everyone I've talked to so far, no one has brought them back. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. The medical aspect, I really don't. Right. I'm not that, I'm not that right. Right. Yeah, there's still COVID around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not, and, I mean, I guess this is my my purchase. I don't. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll drink from Chell sometimes. I mean, way, but other people are comfortable with that, and that's fine too. Um, do we, I mean, we won't even look at that as an option. The other, I mean, that's the other thing too. By the time December rolls around, that's also in the middle of cold and flu season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so regardless of COVID, yeah, yeah. many people usually don't just because of that. So um, and it's going to be dark, right? I, I and based on those factors, I would rather plan now to say let's just not have the chalices, yeah. Yeah. and we'll just plan to have the four body stage. Does that seem reasonable to everybody? I, or, I mean, so. okay. If there's really a strong objection, I'm open to that. And if we want to say oh, we need to bring our chalices, we want to okay, fine. <laughs> um, but we have other other practical issues we have to really look at. For that. And I don't know. And then to that point, usually we 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 talk about getting ministers interested around. The December or February time frame, okay. usually have like training sessions yeah. and you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, so I don't know if we'll we have people back by then yeah. anyway. Yeah. Right. Because we're, uh, Ron, just catch up. We're talking about the ministries that we're going to need for the mass. Um, I'm going to put the feelers out. I'm going to have at least four servers. I might, I might also engage our, we have a, a master of ceremonies program we're starting with high school kids. Okay. So I might ask one of them to do that. And then also about four servers for incense, cross candles. Um, and then um, uh, we'll, we'll meet at least one lacquer, and then uh, we're talking about the story of ministers and or the lack thereof that we would have. So, we can, <laughs> yeah. so uh, that's where we're at right now. But also, with any, we're talk, then we we're talking about offertory. So, uh, we, yeah, so we can train the servers to go up to, with the, 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 the people to bring the offertory up if that's a concern. Um, but if, but we, don't, we also don't have to have one. I mean, we can have everything at the, at the credence table too. Um, I guess a lot of that depends on the Zoom would want to do that. Bring up the gifts. So I know we kind of volunteered. Uh, Grant, Grant and I will do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you need us to do. Just sign us up. Well, again, I don't, we want, I don't want to, time to practice. I don't, I don't, I don't want to force you to do it. So, yeah. 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 Anything okay. that, I'll do it. Anything that mirrors what people are used to at this point? Is, you know, yeah. All right. So we did pick the readings last meeting, so we have that out there. I think I sent that on the block note, right, from last time. Um, I can't find this on the block note. Is it? I, I know it was kind of. You want? Little, I don't know. You want? might be on there. Let me check real quick. I went under adult faith. And it's, a it's, bunch under, of it's under. It's under. So it's a hidden group. It's under. I remember um, you said that. Yeah, because I couldn't find it under liturgy. Liturgy. It's under liturgy, liturgy committee. It's under liturgy okay. Yeah. <laughs> No. So it's under liturgy committee, and it's it's labeled as the Rate Chaley mass planning. I don't. It doesn't even show. Yeah, no. It's not, that's because it's hidden. Yeah. But let me see if you're on there. I can add you on there. Please. I don't. You have to be invited. Oh, <laughs> we don't. It's a special. I mean, I didn't. Oh, I don't remember. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Let me let me add you on there. Let me see if you can. Grimly said to you at gmail.com. We well, should be on here already. Right, there, right, there. there you go. So let me. Oh yeah, Erica said she was gonna come at some point. Erica. I don't know if that's in this group, Namira. She oh yeah, yeah. Also yeah. Faith, I think. Faith, Faith. Faith was interesting. Oh so man, evangelism at the women's axe retreat. And uh Sherry, who's new to the neighborhood, whose house you plus she's interested. Oh yeah, she yeah, she's here. Okay, okay, good. And then uh well if, if these if these people are I mean we are we have this solidified, you can add them to the group now if you want to do that. Yeah, I would do that. Okay, so who else we have? We've had uh um I can get Sherry's yeah. She should be in here too. I know she's been showing up to Sherry Yeah, right? she started showing up to Bob the Father and the uh Sunday morning oh, last she, week. Oh here she is, I got her. That's right. great, yeah. And um Faith Kramer, Terry, and Aaron. Good, let me add them. So we got her. And then Aaron's friend. They just sent out the whole extra tree. Les, are you on this? Mm -hmm. Are you on this? No. I thought we were on the Rorati Chili planning thing. I didn't get anything. I mean, I got. Like I think about Vespers today, but I don't think we got anything about this meeting that I remember. But. Well, let's, 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 let's
Let's make sure everyone, everyone is actually on here. That needs to be on here. So here's who's what we have right now. Uh, so myself, Monsignor Schamhofer, Meredith Whitry, Mark Coleman, Jane Beato, Susan, you're, Susan Benedict, yeah. mm -hmm. Ann Buckley, Mary Kay Damison, yeah. Kathleen Ferguson, Lisa Graham, Kathy Hanel, Lee Hanel, Mary Ellen Hoffman, Nick and Kara Kaltmeyer, Mike and Inga King, Josh Faith Kramer, Joe Leisure, Chris Rosecki, Sherry Mankiewicz, Eric Namara, Eric Namara, Mary Prati, and Mary Beth Tucker. Ann, are you in here? Yeah, yes. Did I say your name on Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um okay. So yeah, does anyone else then we can add on here? There are 22 share. members, oh, which is great. <laughs> no, it's actually okay. Just yeah, actually right right right. Well, that's the reason I mean we want to make this invisible because there when I like so when I sent this email out in, in back in last December, it was very divisive. And I didn't expect to get that so, so I, I I was planning to do this more um under behind the scenes, so not to cause any frustration with us or with them. And so if anybody was interested, I'm more than happy to add. Them. So if you give me names, I'll add their names in here. Oh, Mike and Leader, I forgot. Oh, sure. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. D E V. There it is. Yeah. And uh, Joe Leisure. I got Joe on there. Yeah. But Joe, I haven't seen in a while either with like with anything. So I mean, I don't know. I know. I know. Technically, Joe's a, a Christian. Has the gray fields. Yeah. Mm. Um, but whatever. He he hops around. He's at the sales a lot. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. So I mean, it's it's just, but yeah. So I know he's also on our our youth group. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's gone to a meeting or in any meetings. It's whatever, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so if you got any other names, just send them to me, I'll, and I'll add them on there if you're on there. So uh, great, we just had about four names on there tonight. It's awesome. Um, so also, what we're going to do is we're going to on these nights. We also decided last meeting when we have the meeting at four, we're just going to add the Latin class onto it. That way, we don't have to do double duty. It just make it a little bit easier for everyone. Um, so uh, any objection to that, I'm open, but I think that's probably a reasonable. Mm -hmm. All right, with well, that being said, it's already 423. Any other any other business we want to talk about, old or new? I would just want to ask everyone, would you rather move this meeting to seven or would you rather have the seven come to four? Well, to me, it doesn't matter. And there is no vespers today. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got that. There's no vespers. No, because of the Father's Day. Oh, okay. Those clergy are all bad men. They don't want to be ministers. Okay, great. Well, any other business, new business, old business, any other information you want to go over? I did go to St. Francis de Sales. That was an interesting experience. Yeah. <laughs> you know, really? Sunday night, yeah, Sunday. I went to a little mass. Was that today or did you? No, you uh, you should go to I'll go there next. But I actually also, as I'm getting there, I'm like, I wonder if I need a veil. And you yeah, don't have to, yeah, but yeah. everybody about it. Yeah, but, yeah but, there's a lot. But, and yeah, I also, because of that though, I didn't feel. So I didn't, I wasn't in the best position because I didn't really do a really good view of the police and it's hard to tell when you can't see what they're doing. Yeah. I had a book to go along, but you really can't see them. Exactly. I just kind of follow the people. And I, I I don't know if they actually have amplification. There's like no microphone either. No. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Right. But, it, I mean, but with the low mass. But I, when yeah, I was impressed it was how crowded it was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive. If people think that people aren't going to church anymore, they are not going to go wrong. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Well, it was, what's so fascinating about it too is it's like all young, large families. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah so, <laughs> Those good. little young people on the women's act retreat that were saying that they were in, and a lot of them were talking about their the mass at college, at their colleges. That oh, they yeah. Were going yeah. To that were doing it, so. Yeah, it depends on college. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I mean, they're actually doing like a story form at the college. Yeah, so actually, yeah same so they were talking about like a for a while. church group that they had in Missouri, yeah. and then there was another college yeah. they mentioned. They had to bring in <laughs> no, actually, what's 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 basic, it's interesting about the Jesuits is the younger guys are really orthodox and engaged, and they and want they to actually do it. Join the Jesuits. Yeah. So well, <laughs> I mean, I, uh, to, to that, be curious to that, to that point. Why. Well, I think I think part of it is 
it's a movement to try to bring it back in line okay. to Catholic orthodoxy. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a general, right. so a lot of this, there's a general, there is a, a great love for the Jesuits, Absolutely. but there also right. there's this kind of like, we want to make sure that it's doing things right. So I think the younger generation is kind of doing that, which is great. Mm -hmm. Now I know they're getting a lot of pushback and a lot of static from maybe some of the older generation, mm -hmm. but what's what's beautiful about the church and these orders is that eventually those older people are not in those <laughs> but, but now they're not letting they're like discerning at the seminary now and kicked out a bunch of conservative guys it seems like well they've always been doing that yeah. no you're talking so about you know, Kevin, 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 wow. I, I will my well, I have a home show going to this <laughs> when it comes to the seminary formation I don't think it's necessarily worth it. I, I would and say I should, a majority. I say conservative. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would say a majority of the seminarians, especially from St. Louis, are meet that criteria anyway. There does seem to be, and this is kind of unfortunate, and just as my observation, and I don't have any you know, really actual objective, you know, things to say. This is the case. But if you're from St. Louis, if you are an older guy, and and or if you are someone who can serve be a leader in the seminary. You tend to have a target put on your back. And I don't know, I don't think it's conscious, but it seems like a lot of men have been asked to leave. They kind of fit that criteria. The older kind, the professionals? Because I heard the opposite, that they were focusing on professionals, and then some of the young men that have been in for years just left. It's it's been in both end in many ways. I mean, so so you don't necessarily have to have all three of those against you to be asked, but if you have maybe two. Right, so that fits even with the other guys too. If you're from St. Louis, you're still leader in the house. Hmm. Let's start to scrutinize this person. Now, in many ways, that's maybe designed that way. And I don't want to burst anyone's bubble or make anyone. I'll, I always, I always put this in context, saying I believe the formation that men are getting at Kinder Fund is probably the best in the country. It's that's great surprising. formation. It's great intellectually. It's great spiritually. It's great humanly, pastorally. I think it's it's a wonderful. It's not perfect. Right. Yes. Right. Nothing world. is. Yeah. And so, but so what I'm saying is, I think there are also sometimes some blind spots from formators that they tend to, to not look at the man as whole and focus on certain things, and that becomes kind of uh, magnified in many ways, which maybe it's making an issue where there may not be. And so because of that, some men are asked to leave, or some maybe men just think that they are not cutting it, in which case they just turn out on their own. Okay. I, I think in some ways that's designed that. Right, because sure, it's, it's meant to put men for their paces yeah. and actually really scrutinize themselves and look at whether they're being called. Because the direction is really that way because they're trying to protect the church. Absolutely, and that's good. But I think also what happens is when you're trying to filter out the bad, some of the good gets sifted with that. And because of that, there's been I think in my opinion a lot of men that's been asked to leave recently that probably shouldn't have. Especially when you're in your twenties, you're not quite yeah. you're even sorting things out. Yeah. Waiting until they do the tour a little bit. Yeah. So, um, yes. I mean, let's maybe to put things in perspective. We went from having about 40 men in the theology, I mean, in the last four years of formation, right? From St. Louis. And this year, next year, we're down to eight. 40 wow. to eight? Eight in the whole four years? In the whole theology. Oof. And the reason for that? See, I was told one guy I know left because all of his friends left. And he's <laughs> like, okay, I guess I'll just go to Mizzou like they do. I don't know. I mean, that may be. I, 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 was, I mean, I, I've seen men leave in my tenure when you kind of scratch your head and you're like, I don't get that. Right? And it's one thing, part, the hard part is you don't want to compare because you shouldn't compare. Yeah. Right? But I think some guys do, because when they see one guy leaves, like, wow, that guy can't cut it. What does that mean for me? Especially the other guys, if there's this mindset, well, hey, this guy's really bully and he's really smart. And if he's not called being priest, well, then shoot, I guess I'm not either. I think that happens mentality with the younger guys, um, but even the older guys too. I mean, one of my one of my best friends in the seminary was asked to leave, and it was it was it was a, it was a real hit. And you kind of start doing some soul searching, like, oh boy, I, okay, um, all right. But you know, yeah, it's about your relationship with God. It's about your own uh, formation, your own holiness. Mm -hmm.
And I think some of the other guys may not understand, or at least they developed that eventually, but I think that's, that's from the problem. But yeah, I think there is a scrutiny in many ways for some of the guys, especially if you're from St. Louis, if you meet this criteria, there tends to be a little bit more pressure. And again, I don't know if it's necessarily a conscious effort. I don't think it is. I would surely assume it's not, but that's something that's been kind of observed for the last few years. That's kind of sad though, that there's not more of a, I mean, especially the young guys, if they haven't figured yeah. it out, like you'd think there'd be more of a nurturing path yeah. than like you're out, especially with them well, swing the way. Let me put it this way. A lot of that stems from the, the you know, the, the, the spirit of the house kind of stems from the leader of the house. And I will say that in my tenure, I had two different rectors that were there. One probably shouldn't have been the rector. Um, the other one, I think, did a great job administratively, but he would make it very clear that he had no concern about the feelings or the thoughts of the actual seminarians. So where's the scrutiny for the rectors? <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, and the other, I think the other side too. I think this again, maybe subconscious. Like some some records, I don't think it's just it's for Kendrick, but everywhere, um, they have a real pressure because their the belief is that I'm the one that's actually deciding they're going to ordain or not. Yeah. Now the problem with that is mm -hmm. that there there is definitely a level of of advisory that goes into it, but the real decision comes down to the bishops. And so if the bishop decides no, fine. But if it's up to the bishop to decide whether the man gets ordained or not. And in some ways, these rectors have put themselves in the position of the bishop, and it's like, well, that's not your job. Right. And I think that's kind of part of the problem, too. Well, it depends on whether the bishops interact with the seminary in the month or not. I and know that Archbishop Burke needs to be over there mm -hmm. a lot. But, uh, and I know from in the past that that's not been the case, especially before maybe you Archbishop worked. Um, my understanding is the previous Archbishop didn't really spend a lot of time in seminary with yeah. that. That has not really been the case recently. I know Archbishop Carlson was really engaged. I believe I have no reason to believe that Archbishop Rodansky had not been, I believe he has been too. Um, because I think for that reason, because they're, they're understanding I'm the one making these decisions for these guys, so I should know them. Um, um, I think Burke said very early on, you know, he, he wanted to know all the seminaries. Yep. yep. Uh, and he got to know them very well. He was yeah, very he was at least one day a week. Yep. Yeah. You know, Burke would go to slew dorms and like bless people's crucifixes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Like everywhere. laughs> yeah. One thing about Cardinal Burke, I think people realize, like, he actually has an amazing talent for remembering people. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you only met me one time, you remember your name. So yeah, but uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I, I that's yeah. That's kind of different. That's kind of off topic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, sure. but, um, but yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see. Back in town this last week. I heard that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I heard he had vespers over at the St. Francis Hill. So well, good. Well, let's go ahead and get started then. Um, so I couldn't find. I don't know what happened to the old uh, the old right I had up here. I guess it got something I got missed, but. Um, Oh, well, let's thank you. So, nomine patri, sophili, et spiritus sancti. Amen. Dominus fobis. Et consigus tu. Fratres agnascimus peccata nostra, ut aptissimus ab sacra mysteria celebranta. Conficior Deo omnipotenti, et vobis fratres, qui a peccati in ilis, cogitazione, verbo, opere, omissione. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, ideo precor beata Mariam sentir virginum, omni sanctus et sanctus, et vos fratres morare come ad dominum deum nostrum. Miseriator nostri omnipotens Deus et demisis peccatus nostris, perducat nos ad vitam eternum. Amen. Here be ye, eleis o.
Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus, one volum partis, Ladamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gratias agimus tibi, propter magnum gloriam tuam, nomine Deus rex celestis, Deus pater omnipotens, domine fili unicemite, Jesu Christe, Domine Deus agus Dei, Filius Artis, Vitolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis, Vitolis peccata mundi, suscite de peccationem nostram, Christeis ad extrem patris, miserere nobis, Monium tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, Tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum santo spiritu, in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. 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 Uh, secula, secula Amen. Amen. We'll have the readers come up, um, and then um, the uh, uh, lectura secundum profetas Isaiah, and then at the end, verbum domini verbum gratias. Then we'll have the um, Responsorial psalm, the hallelujahs, and then uh, the deacon or the priest will get up and say, uh, Dominus Obiscum, Lexio Sancti Evangelii, Secundum Lucas, Gloria to you. Know. What is it? What is it? Are we going to sing the Ecum Spirit to us? Because that's pretty common. We could. We could. Um, yeah, I, I've got to. We got, well, that. A lot depends on. I know the deacon actually has been taking Latin and, and Greek, so um, I don't know how well he's doing with the chanting though. So the, now, if I could do it, I say, "Dominus vobiscum, et cum spiritus in Lexio sancti evangelii secundam Lucas, Gloria tibi domine." And then we could do the proclamation. Um, yeah, we could do that. If I could, if I'm there, I could do that. I don't know if I want to. I have to ask Deacon if he's if he's comfortable with that. Though. So we have, to, we have to play that by ear. We got time to do that though. You mean if you're there? <laughs> Meaning if I'm proclaiming the gospel, I will do that. Okay. Because if the Deacon's not there, if, if the Deacon's not there, yeah, I'm going to handle it. Right? Yeah. So uh, we'll, uh, we're still kind of up in the air. I think the Deacon's indicated he wants to be there or will be there, but there has been like solidification there. But yeah, so. Uh, and then, Verbum Domini, Laus Tibi Christe. Um, and then we'll have the, we will not do the creed that day, but just a couple of practice things to look through it, right? So, uh, Credo in Unum Deum, Pacto in Potentum, Pactorum Celi et Terra, Visibilium Omnium et Invisibilium, Et in Unum Dominum Jesus Christum, Filium de unigenito, ed ex patre natum, ante omnia secula, deum de Deo, lumen de lumine, deum verum de Deo vero, genitum non facum consubstantialem patri, per quem omnia facta sunt, qui propter nos hominis, et patre nostrum solutem, discendi de cetis, Et incarnatus est de spiritus santo ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus et siam pronobis, sopronsio plato, passus et sepultus est, et resurrexi tertia die secundum scripturas, et ascendit in cedum, sedet ad dextrum patris, et iterum venturus est cum gloria, Judicare vivos et mortuos, cuius regni non erit finis, et in spiritum sanctum, dominum et vivicante, qui ex patre filioque procedi, qui cum patre et filio simul adorator et perfect glorificator, qui locutus est per profetas, et unum sanctum catholicum et apostolicum ecclesiam, Confitio unum baptisma in remissionem peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionem mortuorum, 
and be fundamentally secondary um, mathematicians, of course, at that point. And then the world would be equal. So, um, Benedictus as Domini Deus Universi, qui de tua largitate, cepimus tanum, quem tibi offerimus fructum terre et operis manum omnium, ex quo nobis fiat panis vitae. Benedictus Deus in sake of life. The water and the wine, and we say, Benedictus as Domini Deus University, we had de to the Architate of Chepimus Vidum, who TV offerimus fructum vitis et oporis manum omnium, ex quo nobis fiat potis spiritalis. Benedictus Deus in the sake And then we'll have a uh, washing of hands. And then, Oratre fratres, ut meum ac vestrum sacrificium acceptabili, fiat apu deum patrum omnipotentum. Omnipotentum. Uh, then we'll have the prayer of the gifts, and then amen. Um, Dominus Phobis, Ecum Spiritu Duo, Sersum Corda, Amenus Adominu, Gracia Sagamus Domino Deo Nostro, Dignum Regius Domest. Okay. And we'll go through the uh, preface, and then after the preface, Sanctus, Sanctus. Sanctus Dominus Seus Sabao, Plenisum Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. And we'll do Roman canon, Asia tour, and then we'll get to the Archipite at Manducate ex hoc omnis, hoc est enim corpus meum, qui pro vobis tradetur. So, genuflect, simil modo postquam cenum est archipens at unc praeclarum calicium in sanctus at ac venerbilis manus tuas. Itam tibi gracias agent benedixit dedicque discipulus suis dicens. Accipite et bibite ex eo omnes, hic es enum calix sanguinis me novi et eterne testamente. Qui pro vobis et pro multis effundetur in remissionum peccatorum, hoc facite in meum commemoratione. And then, Mysterium fidei, mortem tuam annunciamus dobite. Et tua resurrectionem confitemum, Domine Venias. Now we get to the very end. Uh, what do we have? Per ipsum et cum ipsum et in ipsum, est tibi Deo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritus Sancti, omnis honor et gloria per omnia secula seculorum, and then after that, we'll have the Arcana. So, Precepti Saliturgus Moniti, a Divina Institutione Formati Audimus Dicere. Mater Noste, qui es in celis, Santificeto Nome Tuum, Adveniat Regnum Tuum, Fiat Voluntas Tua, Si put in cielo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidiano da nobis odie, et dimite nobis de vita nostra, si put et nos dimitimus de vitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione. Sed libra nos amano. Libra nos quosimus domine ad omnibus malis, da propitius pacem in diebus nostris, ut opi misericordiae tui aduiti, 
et apacato sumus semper liberi et ab omni perturbationi securi, expectantes beatum spam et eventum salvatoris nostri, Jesu Christi. We are to as regnum et potestas et gloria in sectura. Domini Jesu Christi, qui dixisti as posulis tuis, pacem relinquo vobis, pacem meam du vobis. Ne respecias peccata nostra, sed fidem ecclesia tue, Yanque secundum voluntatum tuum pacificare et coadunare digneris, qui vivis et regnas in secula seculum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper hobiscum, et Offerte, offerte, they will be pacem. All right. Anus <laughs> Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Ece agnus Dei, ece qui tolis peccata mundi, beata qui ad cenum agni ducati sunt. Domine non sum dignus, cum interessus tectum meo, sed tantum di vero et sanantur anima Corpus Christi, Corpus Christi. Um, um, after, why didn't you say Corpus Christi at Mass last night when you did the pod? Like, what didn't I? Last year you did. <laughs> On Corpus Christi. <laughs> Yeah, I was I got in trouble for saying yeah. that in the you know oh, yeah. saying English yeah. oh. probably the most. But you're not really technically supposed to mix the languages. Well, that's not what the constitution well, then, says. No, the, the <laughs> specifically says that, that Latin should take pride. You know, it should take pride in place. place. Yeah. But also main we should also use it right during the entire text too. Well, it says there's that some some document that came out. I don't know if it's the Constitution or right afterwards that there's no reason not to use some English in a mess that's in Latin and no reason to use some Latin in a mess that's in Yeah, I have to look at this. I know that we were told, and also based on some of the documents I've seen, there's been a lot of, uh, there be, well, maybe you can say there's a lacuna in, in that in some ways. So, yeah. You're saying we shouldn't even say this on Sundays? What I'm saying is, is that liturgically speaking, you should have one language. Mm, you shouldn't have a whole lot of languages. But that no, one there's, there's, again, language that's why there's a lacuna. English that's why there's a lacuna. Latin. That's Latin. why there's kind of a question about that. Yeah, because, because you wouldn't do English, Spanish, and Latin. <laughs> but see, that's the guy afraid of them too. Know, Latin is always part of it. I would say English is the language, and then Latin is just. <laughs> well, again, that's. There's a lacuna. I've been that better. It's okay. Uh, Oremos. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, I know what the Constitution said. Christum, amen. Um, <laughs> Dominus vobiscum. Et vos spiritu tuo. Bendica vos omnipotente. Pater et filius et spiritus sanctum. Amen. Ite misa um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Well, Mary Beth, our organist, said she was fine, right? Yes. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Um, so, uh, because I don't have a scheduled Mass this week, um, I'm going to celebrate a noon Mass on Friday for the Feast of the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart. And I'm planning to do that in Latin. Mm -hmm. So, if anyone wants to join me at, at noon, on Friday. This Friday. At this Friday at noon. In the church? In the church. Huh? <laughs> wow. Whoa. Hey, great. And Wonderful. then we'll all go out to lunch after. Okay. All right. I don't know if I can do that, but I won't. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, since I, usually I try to have my mass around noon um, if I don't have the scheduled mass for the week. For the week. And this week I do not have scheduled mass. So I will do mass at noon on Friday. I'll think of you at work. 
Okay, I appreciate that. Um, um, in Chesterfield. It's a bit of a distance. I don't even get lunch anyway. So I will plan to do uh, a Latin Undovus Ordo on that day. So if you want to join me, you're more than welcome. We also have all the bells and whistles, meaning uh, incense and whatnot. So if you're around, great. If you can take time off, great. Uh, we'd love to have you. Otherwise, uh, any questions, comments, concerns? I've got a question that has nothing to do with the Latin mass. There's a man who is in around the park frequently who wants to know why the lights at the lower steps are not on. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so well, maybe, okay. they're not on, and uh, he's worried that someone will fall. Okay. 